And the one thing I'm certain about, people have noticed that you know, we've been able to generate some Republican support in this campaign, despite the fact that I am supposedly uh, this, uh, this card-carrying liberal. Uh, I think the reason is, is because not just Democrats, but also independents and Republicans are recognizing that how we function politically is not working, that it's become a sport. It's become a game, uh, and we, we never get to the point of governing and solving problems. Uh, and some of these problems are difficult and uh, you know, will require a lot of work and a lot of tough choices, but we're not even getting to the point where we're making progress on these issues, and it strikes me that's what the American people are looking for. Senator Obama, today's event is sold out. Thank you. You have been drawing large crowds wherever you travel. What's your take on the sense of excitement around your candidacy? Well, um, you know, when I first announced, I, uh, I was pretty certain, just based on my travels around the country on behalf of other candidates during the congressional race uh, in 06, in that the country was hungry for something new. Uh, and I think that initially, at least, I certainly benefited just from novelty and uh, some media attention. Uh, you know, here's this 46-year-old black guy, funny name, big ears, he's out there, um, he talks pretty good. Uh, this might make for an interesting story, and, and so, uh, so I think that accounted for some of it initially. Uh, now, keep in mind, it wasn't that long before that phase of the campaign played itself out, um, you know, thanks, I think, to some uh, properly skeptical and cynical reporting. Uh, and so I don't think that we would have sustained that excitement and interest uh, had there not been something else at work. Uh, and I think what it is, more than anything, uh, is uh, the sense that our campaign has actively tried to cultivate and organize, that uh, the American people want to move past the old arguments and also want to be involved and participate and be engaged and enlisted in uh, you know, the, the project of American renewal. Uh, they feel a part of this campaign. They feel ownership of this campaign. I think they feel as if uh, I'm a useful prop for the campaign, but that it's theirs. Uh, and that you know, what uh, excites them most is, you know, when, when you see some of the crowds sometimes, uh, they're not, some reporters have written, oh, look, they're all fawning over Obama and, and you know, it's cult-like and so forth. That's not it. I, I think people are missing the story. People are excited by each other. I can't tell you how many times I've, received letters or comments from people where they say, you know, I've never seen uh, a room where there's so many different kinds of people in the room and they're all talking about issues together. Or uh, parents who come and say, I've never seen my 15-year-old interested in politics before. And that thrills me because I remember when I was excited about politics uh, back in the 60s and, and to see that in my own children, uh, you know, really makes a difference. Uh, or a seven-year-old woman that I met uh, recently in, in a rope line, and she whispered to me, she leaned over, she said, I've never voted before. Never voted before, 70 years old. Um, and, and so I think part of what is accounting for our, the excitement in the campaign is just people being excited about their own possibilities of changing the country. They're seeing that, for example, uh, when we decided not to take PAC money or lobbyist money, that suddenly, through the Internet, they could fund a major presidential contest. And then that feeds on itself. It, it gives them a sense that uh, you know, they can actually make a difference. And part of what I hope my uh, presidency could do uh, is to open up government again so that people continue to feel that sense that uh, they're being involved. They're knowing the issues, they're becoming engaged, that that can have an impact. Uh, because I, you know, that's something I fundamentally mentally believe, that the change does not happen 
from the top down. It happens from the bottom up. We need leaders who are responsive to the voices of the American people. We need leaders who can help shape public opinion and challenge public opinion. But I, it was uh, a, a pretty good president, the last one who came out of Illinois, uh, who said that uh, uh, you know, without public opinion, all the great ideas in the world go nowhere. Uh, and, and so what this campaign, I think, more than anything about is, uh, has been about is, is to help give voice to public opinion uh, so that it can start uh, having an impact on a politics that's been very insulated and, and very cut off from public opinion for a long time. President Reagan was known as a great communicator. President Johnson was a master of congressional arm twisting. President Bush has used executive orders and declarations to assert powers. Can you give us a sense as to how you would use the power of the presidency? Well, I, I gave a hint of one aspect of it, which is I think the importance of getting the American people involved. And, and I think one of the biggest problems of the last eight years has been the degree to which President Bush has taken almost the opposite tack, that uh, secrecy and uh, concentrations of power in the Oval Office uh, and a disdain to some degree for uh, public opinion has, um, has left the American people feeling like they have no influence over their government. And to some degree, they don't know what's going on. Uh, and I think the fact that lobbyists and special interests have been so dominant uh, in how Washington works has contributed to that sense. Um, so one of the things I want to do is open things up. I want transparency. I want accountability. Uh, you know, since I worked in the state legislature, uh, I've always been interested in ethics reforms and disclosure. Uh, one of uh, the laws that I'm proud of passing is working with one of the most conservative members of Congress, Tom Coburn, uh, for a uh, inter uh, searchable Internet uh, database so that not just the press but also the public can discover every single dollar uh, that's being spent by the federal government, whether it's a bridge to nowhere or a no-bid contract to somewhere, uh, so that we can shine the light and hold people more accountable. I think that's important. A second thing that I think is important is um, getting people to sit around a table and work things out. And one of the things that I th one of the skills that I think I bring to the uh, potentially to the presidency is, although I've got some very strongly held views and some very clear principles uh, and an idea about where I want to take the country, uh, I think I am very good at getting people of different perspectives to listen to each other and to pay attention to each other uh, and to try to find common ground. We haven't done enough of that. Uh, I actually think that there are a lot of members of Congress who feel constrained and confined and unable to have those conversations. I think the President sets the tone. Uh, it, and people have noted, you know, they, they looked at uh, the National Journal and they say, oh, Obama, look, he's a liberal. He's the most liberal guy in the Congress. I have to point out, first of all, that one of the criteria, I don't know if you guys are out there in National Journal, but uh, one of the criteria you used to determine this was the fact that I was in favor of a uh, independent uh, ethics committee that would be separate from the Senate Ethics Committee to actually investigate ethics violations. I don't know that that's liberal. I think conservatives don't like corruption in their governments either. Um, but setting that aside, People have, 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 have suggested, well, you know, because of these votes, that indicates uh, that he must not uh, actually be, quote, unquote, bipartisan. Well, uh, I reject that. The, the problem we have is that the way votes are structured in Washington, they are designed to polarize. They're designed to score points. 